Gemini, you next in line. Okay, so this is the secret sexual fantasies from somebody that you don't have contact with. Wow, these cards are already flying. All right, guys. So, yeah, this is from No Contact. Now, No Contact don't have to mean exes. Any upheaval that could have separated something before it got off the ground. Wow. Okay, but somebody do want to know if you still love them, though. Okay. Mm. And I'm getting, if it was just that easy, don't you think we'll be together by now? All right, so let's go ahead and call in the ancestors so we can get started. Holy Divine Spirit, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides, please use me as a vessel with clear, concise, channeled messages for the astrological sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the month of July 2021, spirit. What is the secret emotions and sexual fantasies of Gemini's person? I asked your project to you at night. It's a lot of people doing that. My family is tired of me saying your name. They think I should just call you. Wow. So that's a mouthful. Okay. I don't even know how I fit all that in one card. But yes, uh, somebody here cannot resist talking about you. So no matter how mad you guys are at each other, because I got a feeling that not everything they say about you to their family, because I'm getting a pain in the neck. Not everything that they say to their family is positive, but they constantly bring your name up. So it don't matter if they mad at you or if they saying messed up stuff about you. Whoever this person is, Gemini, they can't keep your name out their mouth. And their family just like, look, they see right through it. It's like, look, man, even when you complaining about this person, whether you male or female, even when you complaining about this person, you just can't stop talking about them. So stop trying to front. You miss them. Call them. That's like the energy I'm getting here. I want to make love in the rain and I asked your project to you. I know you're protected from me. <laughs> so this person may feel like they blocked, like spirit has blocked you. And it's because they being dishonest because I'm getting rose colored glasses. So you really don't have a full scope on this individual, whoever they are. Uh, do you have anything you want to tell me? So this person think they got, like they know something. They think that they know something. Your energy is golden. I love how we can have a whole conversation without speaking. So, and that's falling right under astral projection or I astral project to you at night. So this person definitely loves living in the higher dimensions when it comes down to y'all connection, especially since, you know, it's something that's coming between you guys. Y'all can be at odds or like I said, this person could be in a situation that they, whatever. I don't know. I get so tired of hearing saying that they can't get out of, you know, um, they all try to be you, but nobody can compare I felt it when you cried. So, yeah, <laughs> y'all definitely connected. I refuse to let you go. Even if you guys are on bad terms, I feel like this person is energetically clingy, okay? They cling on to your energy. Every time I try to leave, something is standing in my way. Uh, yeah, so this is another one of those situations. I have too much on my plate right now. Mm-hmm. But they are connecting to you in the spirit. They talking to their family about you. Um, they feel like they know something. They miss you because they asking, do you miss them? It's like, you know you ain't asking that question unless it's like, I don't want to say I miss you unless you miss me. So do you miss me? You know, that's kind of what I have in mind when I made that card. But this person know that you're disappointed in them. And they know that either you are blocking them energetically, like at this point you could be blocking them because maybe they're doing too much in the spirit. And you like, you know what? You're not, you no longer have access. Some of you guys have absolutely access denied them when it comes down to the spiritual connection because this person could be depending on that just a little bit too much, you know? And so there could be that energy here. I want to be your knight in shining armor. And you like, how about king or emperor? Okay, my pride ruined this and I know it. I know who you are to me. Diamond eyes. Yeah, they love your eyes. I see you healing. I don't want to interrupt. So that's another thing. This person feel like they such a failure when it comes to you, Gemini. They feel like every time you let your guard down and let them back up, they come in and they mess it up again. Okay, so that could be the reason why whoever this individual is, um... Maybe reluctant to come forth because maybe they just feel like you don't trust them anymore. You're going to always see them as a fuck up or somebody that basically just lied to get their way. You know, I do pull some romantic energy first. 
you know just to encourage you guys to really only connect to those sexually that you can connect to at the heart space too all right so let's get some emotional energy from the person that's coming towards gemini but yeah they ain't a family situation but they can't keep your name out their mouth for okay shyness in reverse so I feel like this person is afraid to come forth, but once they do, they just be, <laughs> this, pace, this person be all gab. Like, they just be talking and talking. So, the truth of the matter is, you guys are very comfortable with each other. This person feel like they at home with you. But they just have to overcome something. Maybe they have some insecurities, or maybe they just needed to confess some things. Um, there definitely can be some children involved, and that's the reason why they feel like they can't leave a situation. Because they could honestly have some new children that you're not even that you're not even aware of, all right? Right here, I'm getting uh, that they used to be unclear about the connection, and that could have been why they stepped back. Yup, divine feminine in the reverse. They was they was unclear about your position in their life maybe they if they have a wife and children they could have just thought that that person was their divine feminine you know um also maybe they feel guilty now because maybe through hurting you so much they might have put you in a distorted energy but they really hoping to overcome odds with you all right and they letting go of control issues because they realize that trying to control every aspect in the way that things go here they kind of sabotaged it but they do want to join forces with you. I keep getting that. I was going to say something about holding hands or taking a hand. But I'm seeing that in both of these. Like this person, they want you to allow them to lead. But this time, they want they want to do it without exuding so much control. Without the need of the control of the outcome. And they want you to release that very same thing. If you've been trying to control how this is going to play out or how this is going to go, this person wants you to release that. Like, you know what? Let's just go with the flow. Just take my hand. Let's see where this leads us. You know? They could have had people around them trying to convince them that you wasn't their divine feminine. And I also feel like they could have been stuck to something because they've been with this person since they was a child. So this can definitely be somebody that they known as an actual kid. They probably always crushed on this person, always wanted them, always loved them. It definitely can be children here. But also, I'm just getting this energy that these two were very young when they met. Even if they were teens, you know, they, they were too, they were really young. And so this was a love that they evolved, they ended up growing out of. You know, they thought it was just lust with you. I'm not going to lie. They definitely had to overcome somebody that wanted to keep them by keeping them trapped. Okay, so I don't know what the thing is with kids here. All right, so I'm getting first kiss in reverse. So for some of you, y'all never even made it to that. All right, y'all didn't even make it to the first kiss. This person was still thinking and dreaming about kissing you for the first time. And I'm getting that. Um, I think that's escape kissing you. It's all that I've been dreaming of. So if they did get a chance to kiss you, they've been replaying that moment quite a bit in their head is what I'm saying. All right. So let's get some sexual energy. They definitely had to break your heart. And honestly, somebody could have did a separation spell on this connection. But they miss being able to look at your body. In every picture, you naked. And Gemini, this person love your body. They love your body. They think you got a very pretty kitty. Okay? And a nice round behind. This person also love your feet. They feel like you got pretty feet. They may love to give you foot massages or love when you rub your feet on them when y'all laying in the bed. Alright? So... Okay, so this person definitely was being misled as to who their divine feminine is. They felt like they was with their divine feminine. But they realizing that that person is a witch, okay? Whoever they was dealing with in the past or they could still be dealing with. And that's, that could be what's getting in their way. This person could be another air sign. They could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, and this person is very scorned. Uh, I feel like what they did, they did confusion spells. They did projection magic. They did separation spells on you guys. They could have did a hot foot, uh, a hot foot 
thing on you like a bitch be gone like you know basically so that you don't reapproach her family her man or whoever this is all right but this person definitely wants to undress you like they really miss your naked body they love when you pull their hair so i don't know if this person got curly hair braids dreads but uh or just long hair if you caucasian but this person they they love when you turn up in the bedroom and pull their hair or that's what they want because for some of you y'all haven't been intimate with this person yet all right so this person want to go with a re on a retreat with you because honestly they just they want to have one of those intimate moments that last until y'all pass out until y'all just can't no more until y'all just <laughs> TKO, you know, I keep getting that. And they hoping that, you know, them being able to show you the depths of their emotions is going to actually um, lead to more. They got a lot of things that they want to be honest about. But they ready to cater to you. They want you to lead to, you know, in the bedroom. So maybe they like a dominant woman a little bit because I'm getting that with the Ace of Swords here. So they may like to play both roles here. I feel like they get very excited when the roles are switched and they actually get to be the submissive, to be honest with you. Okay, so yeah, they are. They turned you down in the past because um, they didn't think that they would ever fall in love with you. Like they just thought that this was a situation to kind of get their mind off of whatever they could have been going through in a previous situation. And now they realizing that, you know, they slept on you and they was too afraid to leave their past behind. You know, but now they realize it's like, okay, I've been so afraid to leave because somebody been keeping me manipulated. So this person could have definitely found some things or they could have went to some type of psychic. All right. So my thing is, while they going through this process, they might try to come in and, and act like you about to be their mistress. So that's up to you, you know. Okay, so this is the second time the Six of Wands came at the bottom of the deck. It's like, I don't know, yo, yo, <laughs> this person really think you got a fat ass. Like, that's, that's the most noticeable. That's probably this person's favorite feature on you, okay? It's that in your feet. So, this person got a bit of a foot fetish, okay? And however you got it landscaped down there, they like that too. Whether it's shave, landing, strip, or a little bit of hair. You know, but this person, they definitely went to a psychic. You know, they can know that you intuitive too. But maybe they ain't listening to you and what you got to say because they just think that you just trying to get them anyway, anyhow, okay? But whoever this person is, they went to somebody else. They went to a professional and they found out everything. They know about the spell work that whoever been doing to keep y'all apart is doing. You know, they know who you are to them. They know how intuitive you are and they know what type of future they can have with you and they ready to transform in order to make that happen okay 13 13 i just saw so this can definitely be a divinely protected connection one that's meant to evolve into something that's going to be you know um stable stable grounded serious let's get a second round of sexual energy spirit. let's get a second wow yeah this person want to sneak up on you Here's that role play energy. Wanting you to play damsel. One into 69. They like when you got a little attitude. Actually, your attitude, you have an attitude. So they might even like to make you a little bit mad, frustrated. So they may try to have a conversation. And they might serve the pot a little bit. Because they like how you give it to them better when you're mad. And if you never had sex with this person before, then they just love how you look mad. It's like they want to rip your clothes off. I feel like you're going to be surprised on what's in them jeans, okay? For some of you, if you've never been with this person before. All right, but for those of you that have... Those of you that have, I feel like they're going to be so aroused this time that they, they might be a couple inches bigger than what? This person a breast person? Ugh. Yeah, so they like a lot of fore foreplay that involves the breasts. And they are hoping that you a squirter, not a creamer. Okay. Yep, I told you. For those of you that got a landing strip, they love that. They love that little piece of hair that goes from there to there. Okay. Okay. 
So because this, this person is such a, a, a butt fanatic, they an ass fan, they like your big old booty, they like your Georgia peach, you know, or your watermelon, or your pumpkin, or whatever you got back there, girl, because they like it. They like when you bend it over. All right? And again, um, this person, I don't know. Honestly, like, I don't know if y'all did this in the past or if this person has done this, but I'm getting, like, a glory hole energy. <laughs> and I'm also getting that somebody else that is around them is so fond of you that they have ask them to try to figure out how they can get in on it too and i feel like because this person used to engage in some type of group sex that they have to be telling people it's not like that with this one you can't have gemini but it's definitely somebody around them that be want to like bust in on like i don't know if this person got a roommate a friend or a family member that got access to the keys of their house but yeah the secret is out they know who you are they're ready to put in that work they want to they want to domesticate you. This person want to change who you are as a person and lock you down. I don't know how they going to do that. It's going to take a lot of hard work for them to get out of this situation. Because they got somebody sweating the hell out of them. But that's the reason why this person really want to get away with you. They may want to take a road trip. Yeah, they like your, they like your kitty. I don't care how it's landscaped. They like it. Because I'm getting multiple pictures of them looking at it. And that's the truth. Alright guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the solo tribe. And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.